name's Jack Maynard, I'm English. Um, I've lived here for 18 months, moved here with my family. Um, I have a Danish partner and two children. And I moved from London, um, having worked um, for many years with music and with radio and with sound. Um, I trained as a composer and I make a lot of music. I spend a lot of time creating. Um, and I spent the best part of 15 years working professionally with sound and audio in London, um, particularly with digitization, digital preservation, and working with um, old sound recordings and that kind of thing. And then the panic kicked in. We were moving. I didn't really imagine what opportunity would be available, but I think as both Ivan and Carlos have mentioned, um, what happened when I arrived in Denmark is I saw that Firstly, it was very difficult to find work which was a direct continuation of what I had been doing because it's so niche. You know, there are very few companies working specifically with sound, with audio, with digitization, with these kinds of bizarre fields. Um, so I had, to, I had to change my approach. So I've begun to think back, to think about where I began with creating music, with writing music, and I had begun to do some work in schools in London with working with children, um, um, with composition, with improvisation, with creativity, and with finding something beyond what they do in their everyday lives in schools. So with that feeling, I then needed to find some opportunity to, I guess, explore this, this <coughs> urge. And really it was a case of panic. I didn't know how to find work. I'd begun to apply for work. I'd begun to use LinkedIn, which to be honest, didn't seem to really reap anything hugely useful for me. But at the same time, I, as, I, again, as the others have mentioned, I, I kept getting some really good feedback from everybody I met who perhaps had half an opportunity they could offer, but perhaps not something they could immediately deliver. So to keep the <clears throat> to keep the story brief, what I ended up doing is to find work with subsidised pay, with Lundsill School. Um, and I saw this as an opportunity rather than something to be ashamed of or something that was short term. I thought actually this gives me an opportunity to earn pretty good money doing something I've always want, want, wanted to try doing. So since November 2012, two months after I moved to Denmark, I've been working with children in, in kindergartens, speaking Danish all day, every day, and beginning to develop creative projects with children, which is something I'm, I'm looking to do more of in the future. And in terms of what I've learned from this, I've learned to play again, I guess. I've learned to move away from a screen. I've learned to move away from a very hierarchical approach, which we've found both in my work at the BBC and the Tate in London, very big companies, but difficult to to, to manoeuvre within, uh, very traditional. So for me it's been a sense of release to actually be able to, to make an impact at a very direct level working with three, four and five year olds who are also very forgiving with my Danish and I, and I can perhaps give them some English and some, something different than, than, than they're used to. The other thing it's done is given me a huge respect and deeper understanding of Danish society which is very much centred around children particularly Copenhagen, families are everywhere, family life is really essential for, for so many people. And actually working all day, every day with, with children has made it easier for myself and my family to, to settle, I guess. Um, I want to say it's always easy or not tiring, but it's been a, it's been a, good, a good couple of years. I'll keep it to that for now.